What's up guys, thank you for tuning in to Ice TV. My name is Philip Price and I had a lot of fun playing the Falconeer Warrior Edition. But there were a lot of things that I wish I knew before I played it, so I wanted to help save you guys some time by sharing these 7 tips I wish I knew sooner. Number 1. Play the prologue as it serves as a tutorial chapter, but as soon as you clear the prologue and get the ability to roam the free world, head directly north to Sark's Hollow. Clear the time trial here. Doing so allows you to purchase the Northern Sark Spotter, which is one of the best early game mounts. It costs about 3,000 shards, but it has incredible stats, and there is a super easy way to earn shards that I'll go over later in this guide. Number two, once you purchase the Northern Sark Spotter, the next thing you want to upgrade is your weapon. The best weapons in the game are located here at Peta's Airborne Emporio. There are other weapons at other bases, but all fail in comparison to the ones located here. At first, the most expensive weapon is the Magnetar Rifle, but as you progress in the game, the Mancer Arm Cannon becomes available that costs about 22,000 shards and is basically the best gun in the game. Again, it won't take any time at all to farm this many shards using the method we'll go over later in this guide. Number 3. The Vein Rider is a health regen mutagen sold at Clefspire. It's super helpful for those tough missions because you can simply run away from the fight and let your HP regen then come back at full health. Number 4. If you're experiencing one of the difficulty spikes in the game, consider loading up on the one-time use power-ups located at Shard. Temporary Bloodlust gives you a health boost whenever you kill an airborne enemy. Narrow Survival regenerates 50% health instead of letting you die. And the Miraculous Survival regenerates your health to 100% instead of letting you die. Granted, they are cheap, but you can easily burn through shards if you buy too many. Number 5. At the Dunkel base, Freeman Cruz has the easiest mission to earn shards. The Sea Enchantress Festival mission is a simple delivery to Witchrock. No combat whatsoever. It only takes about 2 minutes to fly there and back, resulting in a thousand shards. Number 6. The missiles or ammo pots are crazy powerful, and you can equip more than just two. However, the more missiles you equip, the less ammo you can carry for your main gun. Number 7. For the completionists out there, there is currently a bug in the game that shows 12 out of 13 fortified locations. Even if you find all 13 locations, it will only show 12 of 13 on your map. And that's it. I've got a couple of guides going up for this game, so if you picked it up, make sure to check out my playlist for a couple of helpful guides. And until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to ICE TV.